guys, it's Aaron the Gameplay King here, Wolf Among Us, episode 4, part 1, and uh, episode 4 is called In Sheep's Clothing, so let's start it. I'm ready to play some In Sheep's Clothing on Wolf Among Us. I'm excited, excited to see what this season, not season, and you idiot, episode brings. Can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. As simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Corey must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. If you had just waited for me to explain before telling Beast. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm ready, guys, to play some Wolf Among Us. Uh, I love the first three episodes. I'm excited to get this game on my Xbox One when it comes out later this year. So, I'm really excited to see how this ends. But I don't want to end because it's such a good game. So, we'll just see. This is episode four. We still have one after this. Sorry I'm a little late on this. I didn't download it till yesterday. the hell's in our house? Bloody Mary. See you around. Oh, it was a dream. Mm. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver... He's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh. Oh, Bigby. Oh, my God. I'm eating this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly. But not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Oh my god! Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh no. No, stop. Why does it make us do this? Oh man. How do you set it back into place? You just don't do that. How did we? Oh, I think we made it worse. Ew, this is horrible. Oh my god! So we're ripping our arm! Oh my lord! Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but... Perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... 
out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... Don't look, Sam. Uh, I prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. Yay! All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and... Well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. <sighs> Don't lie, Bigby. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the Crooked Man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It's not about Crane anymore, Bigby. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options... I don't think I'd pick Desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah, about that. It wasn't your fight to surrender. And what the hell does that mean? It means that I was the one getting shot to shit, so I'm the one that gets to raise the white flag. And only when I want to raise it. Look, Oh my god, Snow, Bigby. I could have... Could have done what? Gotten yourself killed? Let Crane get away anyway? It was the only option. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a... Loan Shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. 
and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of fables. Sorry about the talking, it's just big story right now, and I want to have you guys hear this. And faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believe- I'm just gonna say you're right, so. him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give them a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are no. you gonna let her talk to me like that? That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. I thought that phone was like my phone in real life. I was like, damn. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess Here we go. Waiting in your office right now. Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can We're not gonna do that. here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Yeah, we chose friendship over rules. Okay, I wonder what Nerissa has to tell us. But yeah, we're not gonna let Colin go up to the farm. He's a friend. 
Here's that awesome intro. Hell yeah. Oh, intro. A telltale story by Dan Martin and Aaron Cassins. Directed by Kent Muddle. The Wolf Among Us. Art Direction, David Bogan. Environment, Kim Leons. Animation, Jeff Sire. And choreography, Jonathan Stoddard. Programming, Jason Rice. And music, Jason Emerson Johnson, or something like that. Try to say the names fast. So you guys know who made this game and made it so good for us to play today for the next play agenda of Gameplay King. Episode 4 In Sheep's Clothing. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I... Just talk. Um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> And he's smoking. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. He sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that... <coughs> I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Come on, tell me. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... Maybe I'll don't be your friend. any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. You can. I need you to know. I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? I love it. Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. 
It's the ribbon, isn't it? Come on, we need to know. There hasn't been that much commentary. I'm really sorry, but I want to have you guys hear it and everything. Take it off. You mind if I just... No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Jesus. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please, don't. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... My god. Are, these guys, are, they, are they just gonna date already? Because they like each other. If or her, or him and Snow. Here. That's probably Snow. Listen. Sheriff, there it is. can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I sure won't thing. tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Yeah, we won't. Guys, we're totally gonna tell everyone we know. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. She's hiding That something. was... abrupt. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. Yeah, good work. So us, about we're... Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on that's what Nerissa was doing telling us to go there I think she made it as clear as she could have hmm let's go you know beauty came to me a while back she was looking for financial assistance I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Oh my god, no guys. Power recorded until th uh, for 30 minutes because it's a new episode. I have part other one. matters to attend to. Once upon a time. Let's check what chapter that is. Probably one. Yep. Two, three. Six chapters like normal. Let's go. I could actually talk for like five minutes. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we Here we go. Settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? <sighs> What's this about? Nice to oh see my you gosh, too, Beauty. Snow sent me. Oh, what for? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Well, you're not the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. If someone called, it must have been Beast. I certainly didn't. Okay, 
I... You know, if you had just kept your mouth shut about me, Beast wouldn't have lost his head over at the open arms. He never would have even found the place. And I wouldn't have had to spend the night defending myself or keeping secrets with Bigby Wolf. I lost my job because of you. I needed that. Who's there? Beauty? Who is it? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? Bigby's here. Hi, Bigby. Can you give us a minute? A word in private? I think that's a good idea. Let's follow them. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Now, Beauty, let's not make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? Do we really need to bring Bigby into this? We talked about it already. But Shh. I just don't think he's going to improve our situation. Well, that's what we're going to find out. I know you're going to disagree, but if he can't keep a little secret, how can we trust him with this? I trust him. Well, of course you do. Whatever. It's not just that. Trouble follows him around. We're out of money, and we're up against the wall here, okay? So can we finish this later? Now that Bigby's here, let's just... Fine. Go on. Come on, open up. Was one minute too much to ask? Sorry, we've had a long night. Yeah, what's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What's that supposed to mean? Beauty! What? It's a fair question. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Oh, well, thanks. But that's not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's oh, my God. He's make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here now, so let's see what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Uh. Either it's the money or it's something else. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the Crooked Man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Could you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stone. Oh, come on, we, need, we have two minutes to we're, we're not. And just tell me what's going on here. You get used to a certain way of doing things, and... Sometimes it just gets away from you. I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand that, don't you? And there's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Pick it up now, baby. Or Beauty, please. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Maybe I should... A day at the beach? Hey, Being afloat? we're not done yet. <laughs> I and should... we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. What the hell did you get yourselves into? Oh, man. The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Tell me now. Let's find out. Wait, 35 minutes. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Unless we find out right now. That place. 
I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money... Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But, come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> to make and the candlestick maker? Delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place. It always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. So you do their dirty work. Look the other way. Work is work. All I do is deliver stuff. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. F off. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I think. Lucky Pawn or the Butcher Shop? The Lucky Pawn. Let's go to the butcher. butcher. You know that butcher shop. Let's go to the butcher and uh, uh, the before we got there. Hiding at that butcher shop. There'll be a loading screen that'll end it. Once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking we'll me kill to him. kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Shut up. Guys, thanks for watching. That has been Wolf Among Us, episode one of... Part, episode four, part one. Tune in for part two, where we, uh... Check out the butcher shop. So, take. Love you all. Take care. Nope, 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 nope. Pause.